So the State of the Union was tonight, yeah. and it was uh, Obama's last State of the Union. So what what was your what was going through your mind going into watching the the last uh, State of the Union? Well, I definitely wanted to watch it because of that reason. It's his last one. He's the first president I voted for, and I just thought it was going to be kind of an emotional like wow this is all the accomplishments I've done, and then also kind of where do we go from here, regardless of who's president next, how do we keep the, um, like the same energy and the same trajectory that he's been taking us on. So he touched on four different uh, subjects throughout his whole speech. He focused on the economy, then he fo focused on technology and climate change, yeah. and then you know, making America safe. You know, which, thing, which, which moments speak to you the most regarding those topics? Um, I would say, the making America safe because that's obviously a lot of the things in the news and internationally are happening that are making people feel like we're not safe and he directly spoke to those fears which I thought were good um, not necessarily that I agreed with all of the um, rhetoric he was using but the fact that he did address it I think that will launch the conversation about like okay now tactically how are we handling you know the Iran, Iran crisis or Russia or Syria, everything. So I think he really set the stage for those conversations to happen. So do you think, because um, he talked about uh, making, the last thing he talked about was fixing the way politics works, the right. system of politics in America. Do you think that it needs to be changed at all? Do you think that there needs to be some fundamental changes or do you think that there doesn't need to be as many fundamental changes? Yeah, he made a really good point. I definitely do think there needs to be changes, and I think anyone who's lived in the past eight years <laughs> is like slamming their head against the wall, agreeing, or like have slammed their head against the wall, but are agreeing now. Um, and I think uh, before he spoke about the fundamental changes, I personally just believe like it's the people in Congress right now. Once we get them out, then we'll have a different Congress. But I think he made a great point that it's not the people who are in there, it's the mindset of, if I'm one party, I'm not going to agree with this party, but I really like the part that um, our founding fathers, they argued all the time. They knew we were going to argue. They set up a system where we could argue but still get things done. So I think the fundamental changes do need to um, happen, but also we do need to change our mindset and remind ourselves exactly how the system's supposed to work. Okay, so switching gears for a second, I thought when I watched it, I, I felt like Obama was talking in a very candid way, much more conversational. Like, he's a very conversational yeah. person when he does his speeches, but you, this I felt because it was his last speech, he kind of just went balls to the wall, if you say, <laughs> <laughs> about about what he was, what he wanted to talk about. He touched on various various different things, and yeah. he was he just w wanted to speak to all members of the audience that he was talking to. So, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think um, a big criticism that Obama's gotten during his presidency is that he doesn't speak so freely about his accomplishments or about this is what I want to do, and it's usually a roundabout way. And I, so I do agree with you that he was like, pedal to the metal, all these phrases, <laughs> like, this is what we're doing, this is what I've done, um, this is how we need to do things. And I think um, that kind of conciseness and directness was really effective especially if you want to leave an impression on somebody, especially since it's your last State of the Union.